Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the book of Galatians. Now, in our last session, we introduced the book and said that it was written by the Apostle Paul to the churches he had founded in the province of Galatia. These were the churches Paul founded on his very first missionary journey. We also said that the book of Galatians is the first letter that Paul wrote. In the New Testament, we have 13 letters written by the Apostle Paul. Galatians was the first of those. So it's a very important letter to us. Now we saw that Paul identified himself as an apostle, a representative authorized by Jesus Christ himself. He represents the Lord. And he is writing to the Galatian believers to give them some instruction, further instruction in the Christian life. As we continue to read the first few verses, we notice this interesting greeting. Paul says, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. That's verse 30. Grace and peace to you. Now this is Paul's typical greeting. As a matter of fact, in all of his 13 letters, he always opens with this greeting. Grace and peace to you from God. Now in a couple of the letters, uh, the letters to Timothy, he also adds another word. He said, grace, mercy, and peace. But grace and peace are always there. Now, at first, this might sound to us like just a typical greeting. And I suppose in some ways it is. But it's also much more than that. In these two words that are very important to the Apostle Paul, the very essence of the gospel is contained in them. For what we receive from God, what we receive through faith in Jesus Christ by the agency of the Holy Spirit is grace and peace. Now, grace is the foundation of all that comes from God. Grace simply means what God gives to us that we do not deserve. Grace is the favor of God. It is the smile of God upon us. It is the love of God toward us. It is the mercy of God flowing in us. It is all that God gives us simply because he is God and he wants to give it. Grace is pure gift. We don't earn it. We don't have to merit it. We don't favor it. We don't deserve it. But God gives us grace anyway because God loves us so. This is why we say that salvation comes by grace through faith. It is all the gift of God. And so Paul is always talking about grace. And one of the things he's going to say to the Galatians throughout this letter is that you don't have to earn your salvation. You don't have to work for your salvation. You don't have to keep a bunch of rules to somehow merit it. No, no. It is all a gift of God. Now, once you receive the gift, it produces tremendous fruit in you. It produces the fruit of righteousness. It produces the fruit of holiness. It produces the fruit of a life well-pleasing to God. But it's not that you did those things in order to earn the favor of God. No, no. God's favor was upon you simply by his grace. And once you experienced his grace, then that kind of life flowed naturally through you. So, of course, Paul says, grace to you. It is by grace that we first came to know Christ. It is by grace that we were saved. It is by grace that we live as Christians today. It is by grace that we will one day inherit the eternity of heaven. It is all by grace. And all that's involved in his greeting, grace to you and peace. Now, peace means much more biblically speaking than just the absence of conflict. A life at peace is, is much more than just when there's no trouble in your life. That's always a good thing, but... But peace comes from the grace of God, and it is a wholeness of life, a completeness of life, a totality of life as God intended it to be. To be at peace, we must be at peace with God, and that comes through grace by being saved by faith in Jesus. To have peace, we must be at peace with one another, and that comes by the grace of God, puts us at peace with him through our salvation, and then allows us to live at peace with one another. So peace is that wholeness of life, that completeness of life, that is the, the fruit, as it were, of salvation. And you know, you can be at peace, this peace of God, even when there's trouble in your life, even when you're in the midst of difficulties, even when you're in the midst of the storm. Your life can be at peace because you know you are held in the hand of God. That's the peace of God 
which passes all understanding. You remember that time on the, on the Sea of Galilee when the storm came down and the boat was almost swamped and, and the disciples of Jesus were afraid and Jesus was asleep. They woke up and said, Lord, we're about to drown. Don't you care? He said, where's your faith? And then he said to the storm, peace, be still. And all was calm. And they all knew they would be all right because Jesus was with them. And that's the peace Paul is talking about. A peace that can come to us even in the midst of the storm. And so Paul's typical greeting for all Christians is grace and peace. Grace, it's all by the gift of God. His favor upon us. We didn't earn it, we didn't deserve it, but he gave it anyway. And it grants us a peace, a wholeness of life that comes by being saved and protected by the grace of God. So to these Galatian believers, as well as I believe to us, he says, grace and peace. Wholeness of life that comes by being saved by grace through faith in Jesus. Grace and peace to you. And it comes, of course, from God, our Father, and from Jesus Christ, who is our Lord. This is where the life of grace comes from. This is where the life of peace originates from. It's from God, our Father, through our Lord, who is Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. And so as we wrap up today's five-minute Bible study in Galatians, I simply say to you, as Paul said to the Galatians, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope you have a great day today, and I'll see you next time in our five-minute Bible study in the book of Galatians.